Hey friends. Today I want to talk about success and how having models for success can both help us and also can hold us back. I noticed this when I worked in corporate America, that each organization had its own sort of models and role models for success. The role models were often the founder or founders and people who'd been with the organization for a long time, especially if they were in positions of influence over the course of their time in the organization. And of course, models for success were also informed by the larger culture around us. But each organization sort of had these people who, who stood out as examples of this is what it looks like to be successful in this organization. And that could be useful for people because it did provide a role model and sort of a roadmap for what success could look like. But something that I noticed is that even in organizations that would welcome a broader range of successful behaviors, the roadmap meant that most people were trying to tailor their behavior and model it against that roadmap or sort of blueprint for success of the organization. And I think that was to the detriment of these organizations because, of course, true innovation comes from a diversity of thought, a diversity of styles, and putting those together and, and making them work, sort of making the world of ideas bigger. But it also was to the detriment of many of the individuals in those organizations because it meant that they were sort of flattening themselves to fit a mold in a way that I don't think was necessary. Certainly there are organizations where it is, but there are also organizations where it isn't. But we all, as humans who are easily influenced by the people around us, um, we can all sort of fall into that narrowing trap, both culturally in the world at large and, of course, in the organizations where we operate. This is something that I actively tried to work against. Obviously, my appearance isn't your standard corporate America appearance. Um, and my behavior I tried to really model in a very inclusive and human way so that I could be opening doors for other weirdos behind me. So I was approaching the world with the question of what does success mean to me? And even with that question sort of front and center on my mind, I felt the sort of flattening effect of working in an organization and sort of the feeling of, I should behave this way, or this is what success looks like. So that's a very normal and human experience in organizations, um, but it's one that I think can be dangerous and harmful to all of us, sometimes harmful in small ways, sometimes harmful in big ways. Something that I've been hearing from friends and clients and almost everyone in this moment where our lives are highly disruptive by, disrupted by COVID-19 is that a lot of people are finding this a moment where they are asking themselves, am I living the life I want to live? Is this job feeding me the way I want it to feed me? Am I getting to be the person that I want to be inside the life that I've built, that I currently live, and that suddenly I'm looking at differently because of the various shutdowns and stay-at-home orders? So suddenly more people are asking themselves the question of what does success mean to me and what is the life that I want to live? And that feels like something very exciting to me. Obviously, COVID-19 is bringing a lot of distress and grief and difficulty. And if I could, we wouldn't be doing it. But here we are in this moment. And if you have gone through difficulty in your life before, you know that times of difficulty are often moments of the greatest growth and the greatest sort of becoming the person that you take yourself in the direction of wanting to be. So it also is an exciting moment of transformation, both individually and culturally. And that's something that I'm super enjoying working with my clients on, super enjoying talking with friends about hearing their experiences, sharing my own experiences. And I'd love to hear yours. Are you finding yourself asking yourself that question more than you were before? Maybe at all in a way that you hadn't been before? If you are, I'd love to hear what you're discovering for yourself. What are the answers that you're coming up with? What are the questions that you're finding most useful? Please share.